Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be playing Otogi. It's for the original Xbox. It was exclusive to the original Xbox. I'm not sure if you can still purchase this today on the store or not, on the Microsoft store, but uh, what I did is I took the original Xbox disc here and put it in my Series X. It downloaded a copy and what it is is an upgraded version of the original game. It's been enhanced. It has HDR support now. It's a remarkable game. If you owned the original Xbox and you've, you've never played this game, then you missed out, buddy. You missed out. My plan today is to plow through the first half of the game or so. I've been playing it recently and I've played it in the past. So I'm going to start new game here. And by the way, I'm recovering from COVID. I'm going to uh, sound a little bit raspy, but that's okay. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to be skipping, like cutscenes and dialogue. Uh, it is fun to watch. It's not too hard on the ears. There's a few, there's a few things that are a little bit cringe, but uh, it's very mystical. And this woman talks to you throughout the game. Use your powers to rid this land of the demons that plague it. And this is just the first stage, and it starts you off with a light amount of enemies if here. Wounded, fear not. Your body will heal itself. I am this too is part of the a guy who is in between the land of the, the living and the land of the dead. I've been resurrected by somebody named the princess. She's the one talking to me. And she wants me to purify the world of these demons. There's a lot more to it than that, but I won't get too crazy with the story here. Be always mindful of this. My uh, goal in this first stage is to kill the enemies. And once I kill a certain number of them, it'll let me go to the next stage. And the, f the one thing that you'll notice is that these stages are destructible. Like the entire stage is pretty much destructible. Buildings, trees, tombstones, walls. And Right there, I just destroyed something and that white uh, spirit came out. That's a trapped spirit. And if you look right here, it says spirits 20%. I, there's five of these spirits trapped within the scenery of each stage. So that's uh, one reason to, to destroy everything, to get 100%. But also, if you get 100% in like the first 20 stages or something, you're given a very powerful weapon. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get 20 stages in today. But I am going to destroy some amount of the stages as I play today. But for now, let's go ahead and kill these demons so we can get to the next stage. There's a light and a strong attack. And if you use them together, you can make, create combos. You can see I got six hits. 11 hits there. You must exercise every last demon. All right, there we go. And I acquired something while I was playing that, and my level has already risen, so I'm, I'm level two now. I'm more powerful than I was a few minutes ago. So now I'm just going to jump to the next stage. Go to the mansion deep in the forest near the capital and purge. And once again, my goal is to purify the demons. I'm skipping a lot of dialogue here. Feel the magic flow through you. Magic is spiritual energy. It resides in all living things. The company that made this is called From Software. They are best known for the Dark Souls series. I have imparted to you 
was done so through magic. Uh, Demon Souls was their breakout game. For whatever reason, not a lot of people played Otogi. Maybe beca because it was exclusive and it had a strange name. And it was very Japanese. It's a Japanese company. But, as you cure, but I think they took a lot that they learned from this game and applied it to Dark Souls. I haven't played a lot of Dark Souls, but from what I gather, some of the things are similar to this game. And pretty much this whole building here is destructible and it's so fun to destroy this stuff. And I'm just gonna destroy some of it though. Destroying this entire stage takes quite a bit of time. I know because I've done it recently. And there's some... You can double jump in this game, or you can do... Uh, let's see if I can do it here. You can do a move like this. And the camera's kind of getting crowded here, but you can, you can pretty much hover for an unlimited amount of times in this game as you fight. There's another soul that I freed right there. And there's, I have to kill like two of those big guys to move on. Not yet. One more. And I just found a spell hidden in the scenery there. It said dragon level one. So I got the dragon spell now. I'll get, I'll talk more about the magic in a little bit. I don't want to overrun you guys with all the details of this game. It's obviously got RPG elements to it. My life gauge is in the lower right. It's the green circles. They recover, but, uh, and fill themselves back up unless an entire circle is depleted. Then, then that one is knocked out for the rest of the stage. A unless you find a life refill, like I did a minute ago there. There we go, I just finished the stage. And it's confirming I got the dragon spell and my level has risen again. So everything, all my attacks and my defense and my magic get more powerful every time I go up a level. That also causes things to appear in the shop. So let's go to the shop. She keeps wanting to talk, so I keep cutting her out there. I really want this Heretic's Blade, so I don't think I want to buy anything yet. We'll just go to the next stage. An ancient city abandoned. Destroy <clears throat> the demon spawning of the country. All right. Pretty good looking game, huh? There are copper mirrors that spew forth demons. I'm just gonna cut down some trees first. Find these copper mirrors and destroy them. Search for those hidden souls. I love destroying these walls. So satisfying. So my goal in this stage is to, destro to destroy three mirrors. And here's one of them, I'll just take it out. These enemies are leaving behind little globs, and what that is is money, and I believe experience. 
killing enemies also refills your magic gauge. That's the purple down there uh, in the bottom right. If you run out of magic, it starts depleting your life. So you have to keep that, that purple filled in. So you have to keep killing enemies, basically. <clears throat> I don't need that. There's another mirror around the corner here. I forgot to equip my spell, but if I wanted to, I could start using magic now since I have a spell. <clears throat> Let's kill these guys. When you use your heavy attack, you can send the enemies flying, which can be a good defensive move if if an enemy if you don't really want to fight an enemy and it's bothering you, you can just fling it out of the way and knock it clear across the stage. It's very satisfying. And you can also use the enemies to destroy the ship. You can fling them into the scenery and destroy it. There's a spirit. Isn't that cool? I love those graphics. So here's the last mirror, but I do want to uh, get some experience from killing all these enemies first. The sound design is excellent. I love the music too. But it's the it's the gameplay. It's it's the fighting and how fluid it feels. That's what does it for me. And I destroyed the last mirror, so... Oh. One more. I thought that was the last one. Other one's down here, I think. I played a lot of this game the past few days as I was recovering from my sickness. Uh, I also beat this game about 10 years ago. Uh, but during the time of the original Xbox, I was not really playing games that much, so I missed it back then. And here's the final mirror. There we go. Alrighty. I didn't gain a level. But I am going to save my game because this game has twice frozen up on me. Let's do it right here. And I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so let's go to the shop. And let's get the Heretic's Blade. And let's look at the magic shop. We have some spells for sale here. And I haven't, oh no, I don't have enough to cover, to buy one of those. I want the butterfly spell, so that'll be my next thing. And let's look at accessories for sale. There's one thing there that raises my defense. And I don't, I don't have enough for that either. One. Let's equip my new weapon. My heretic's blade. Let's equip the magic that I have. Dragon. I don't have any accessories to equip. Let's jump to the next stage. Defeat the immortal high priest Jose. This is a boss. The ancient ruins. And he's gonna say, you're gonna hear him say, none shall pass again and again and again. I think he's trying to be a meme or something, but it is hilarious. This game was published by Sega, by the way, for America. 
None shall pass. Get used to that. None shall pass. Leave this place at once. His mind is lost. He cannot be reasoned with. His loyalty is admirable, but he is no longer himself. Michael, you must grant death to this poor and foolish old man. So you can already tell my, my sword is more powerful than the one I began the game at with. Right here is a spell, a hidden spell. It's not that hidden, but that's Chimera. But I want the butterfly one. Whoops. Screw that up. Oh, they are injuring me like crazy here. None shall pass. Oh, I died. That's okay. I'm just going to restart the stage. I didn't really need to fight None those uh, green guys. None shall pass. Leave this so place next time I'm just going to bypass once. them. His mind is lost. He cannot be reasoned with. I'll get this spell again. His loyalty is admirable, but he is no longer himself. Raiko, you must grant death to this poor and foolish old man. To let him go on living will only cause him no pain. Alrighty. See how easy it is to bypass stuff with all these moves. And by the way, when you're new, you're not going to be uh, doing all these jumpy things that that I'm doing here. This stuff I've learned over time. It takes a while to get used to all these special moves. By the way, I can use my magic. Now this is a kind of a hidden enemy who appears occasionally and if you kill him or it, whatever that thing's supposed to be, uh, it'll give you a, a life gauge enhancement called a mercy orb. And so when I, when I exit this stage, when I finish this stage, I'm going to have four life circles on the, on the bottom right, so instead of three. And it's permanent. You'll have that the rest of the None game. So. Even now, he resists. To raise the seal, the capital was moved a thousand years ago. Some tricky jumping here. But there were those who opposed the seal and remained here. I'm on fire too, that's not good. The deep resentment of all those who objected is gathered here. That's the boss, he's firing those fireballs from far, far away. But as I get close, he'll stop. And there's a life fill up right here. So see, I, I'm now gonna have three full balls of health. None shall pass! Those imperial fools! Why would they not listen to him? None shall pass! None shall pass! He loves to say that. Perhaps my master will see my loyalty oh, in return. None shall pass! Don't die, Kevin. Those imperial fools! Why would they not listen? There we go. He's going to talk for a little bit, and while he does, I'm going to destroy some more stuff around here. Why am I no longer at your side? The world is trapped in a night. The game will remember what I've destroyed, so I can keep re entering these stages to gain more experience and destroy more stuff and to find more hidden items. And the more you re-enter, the more powerful you become. And it's almost impossible to beat the game without um, 
doing some level re-entering. So I got Chimera, I got a Mercy Orb. Level's risen, doing good. I wanna, I'm gonna re-enter the first stage just to show you the concept. Well, hold on, let me see if I could buy the butterfly magic now. There's the butterfly. Huh. Oh wow, I'm just barely short. So I'm gonna re-enter the first stage. Is it not so and clear some more of it out. And I think I left behind a mercy orb there a bamboo when I began the game. Shrouded in mist. Purify the deep. Can't remember. Right. But all the bamboo I cut down earlier is is still down. Use your powers to rid this land of the demons that plague it. There he is. I don't know if I killed him before or not. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I got it before. But I'll just kill the rest of these demons. If wounded, fear not. Your body will heal itself. This too is part of the power that I have bestowed upon you. But be warned, should your magic power ever be depleted, your corporeal body <clears throat> shall fade into dust. I got trapped, uh, I freed another soul right there. And the cool thing is, I I can kill these things faster because I'm more powerful than when I started the game. So easy experience. You must exercise every last deep. All right, there we go. I'm up to forty percent for the uh, spirits. Let's just see if there's any other weapons available. One thing you do have to do is repair your weapons. It's kind of a pain. Uh, let's repair my Heretic's Blade. Let's buy the accessory called Belt of Good Omen. And let's equip that. So I'll back out of screen, equip, accessories, put the belt on. Got more defense now. Let's equip. Ah, I was going to buy the butterflies. Do I have enough for that? No, that's okay. We're just going to keep going with it without the butterflies. And let's go to the next stage. Release the sealed essence. This is a spectacular looking stage. And wait till you hear the music. And the sound effects. It's awesome. So what I have to do in this stage is release these little firefly things. You can see I just busted the canister and they start floating to a receptacle, receptacle point. This little pot right here. Watch how they come flying out. I have to free a bunch of those and when I have enough of them freed, that's the end of the stage. <laughs> You still 
that's the gathering point where they're all going. There's a soul I freed. If you guys have played this game, let me know. Let me know if you agree with me that it's a very good game. This is one of my favorite games from that time period. I love this and I love Red Faction and they actually, this game, Red Faction had destructible environments too, so maybe I just love destruction. Now there is a hidden room over here, I know because it's right there on the map. There, you could see a little tiny thing out to the right of my arrow there. So I'm just gonna bust this wall. Step in here and get something called mystical beads. The, the, uh, I'm mumbling. There's a uh, boss type guy who just woke up from me doing all this stuff and he's gonna come after me, but I'm gonna beat his butt. He's walking toward me from another room right now and we'll just wait for him. There he is. And I already killed him. This is a pretty powerful blade that I bought so, for this early in the game. There is an upstairs here with more of the glowy things to unlock. If you guys have ever seen the movie Annihilation, there's a famous scene near the end. The sound design of this level reminds me of that scene and you guys will know exactly what, what I'm talking about if you've seen the movie. So I'm almost done with this stage. There's a lot to destroy. <clears throat> There's a little room over here, I think. Yeah. Oops. I knocked over a bunch of chandeliers. You have All right. The Okay, so I acquired the mystical beads, level risen. So let's repair the sword. Now, it tells me the goal of each level, but there's also hidden goals. Like if you, um, complete a level within four minutes or something, it'll give you a, it'll unlock a weapon for you or something. There's also weapons hidden within the scenery. There's spells that you've seen hidden within the scenery. So there's, um, uh, walkthroughs are very useful for this type of game. There's no way you're gonna be able to know a lot of the, the hidden goals without, without the people who have made those walkthroughs. So 
I am gonna re-enter that stage just so I can be, if you beat it within like four minutes, you can unlock a very powerful weapon and I really want that weapon. So I'm gonna re-enter this Release and this time I'm gonna go very fast. One of the four and let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna bypass a lot of the enemies at the beginning here. I'm gonna concentrate on just getting those canisters uh, destroyed. So let's go up here. <clears throat> and once again, like I said, if you re-enter, you also get more experience, more money, so, you know, you just get more powerful and makes the game easier. And so far it may look easy, but it's going to get harder. I told you that the stages remember remember the damage that you've done to them. The only exception is this stage. It seems to regenerate these columns every time I step back in. This guy's kicking my butt all of a sudden. I can't see him because there's so many things in this room. There, I killed him. But eventually you'll get to the point where you 100% destroy a stage and it's just a barren landscape whenever you re-enter it. I'm using my magic here a little bit. There's a lot of guys coming, shooting me from behind here. Should be close to finishing. It takes a while for those fireflies or whatever to get to where they need to go. You have there we go. Let's see if I did it. There we go. Dragon staff. So now I'm going to equip myself, equip myself with the Dragon Staff. So you had to watch me play a stage twice, but it was for good measure because this thing is pretty powerful compared to what I've been using. And let's buy the Butterfly Magic. I should have enough to buy it. Excellent. Oh, darn it. Okay. Is it not so? Let's look. Do I want to change my accessories? See, I currently have the defensive one on, so let's keep that. And let's go ahead and save so in case the game crashes. So I'm a level five, and it looks like I've been playing for a half hour. And let's start the next stage. Cross the lake of tortured souls and purify the demon that lives Okay, this is the first challenging stage. There's a boss at the end of it who's pretty powerful. This lake. I'm not gonna mess around too much. I'm just gonna try to zoom all the way tour so I can fight her and not have and have enough magic left 
to defeat her. Do not cross the bridges without the Now whenever it protection. gets the moon goes behind the stars Sometimes or the clouds. Simply to wait. Uh, these fireballs appear in front of me. And what what they want me to do is wait till they till the moon comes back out and not go forward. That's what she just suggested to me. But it's just a suggestion. I'm going to move forward here a little bit. There we go. The thing is, as I fight this boss, there's going to be other enemies trying to fight me at the same time, so it makes it really hard to hit her. And so let's wake it, awaken the boss. There she is. I'm going to bring her down here and fight her against this wall because that's the best place to fight her in my opinion. She's invincible right now. She's that purple no swirling mess. You must suffer more. There she is. Raiko, attacking recklessly does not appear to be working. Study her more carefully. She must And when she's invincible like that, I'm gonna flee and go around the corner so she doesn't hit me as much with her projectiles. So far I'm kicking her butt a little bit. of the weak have no flavor. You must suffer more. I'm using combos on her. I just knocked her way out there, which isn't a good thing. Running low on life. I'm, I'm out of magic, so my life is draining right now. This will help. And defeating these enemies will help restore my magic a little bit as well. Let's see if I can defeat her. Another life refill around here somewhere. There it is. There's a big mess of creatures here. She is hitting me like crazy. Come back here. I'm in bad shape here, guys. Of course. Raiko. She appears to change with the light of the moon. Running out of time. Uh oh. I'm dead. Alrighty, well, <laughs> what I'm going to do is re-enter one of the other stages so I can make myself stronger.
So say no to that. Back to main menu. Let's go to cleared. Well, first of all, let's see if I need to repair my dragon blade. Dragon staff. And I'll also get the butterfly magic. That might help me uh, better able to clear that area so I can defeat her. <clears throat> so let's go to cleared stages. And let's do the mirror one. An ancient city abandoned. This... There are copper mirrors that spew forth demons. Find these copper mirrors and destroy them. And destroy more of the stages as I re-enter. Always fun. <clears throat> There's the lock-on that I can use, but I tend to not use it because it kind of ra randomly locks onto an enemy, or maybe it chooses the closest one, but Usually, sometimes that's not the best thing to do when you're surrounded by 20 enemies and you lock onto one of them. It can create some issues, at least for me. So, I tend to not use that feature. Love the character design, the creature designs. Use my magic here. So yeah, there is some grinding, and I know that's not fun to watch, but I have to do it for this type of game. Let's see, did I? Yep, I got that one. Well, Rico. 
not everything is destructible like this pillar here in the main part of this building. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, let's see if... I thought that was the end, but I still got another mirror. Okay, special item. Oh yeah, uh, if you get a 30 hit combo on this level, you get a special weapon. And I think I must have accidentally got it there when I was using the, the spells there. So that's good. So let's equip ourselves with that. This thing. The rune schematters or whatever, scimitars. Okay, I'm still a level five though. Let's see. Maybe I have enough for the butterfly. Magic. Yep. So let's buy that. My favorite spell. Equip. Magic. Butterfly. Accessories. Let's do the uh, mystical beads. That increases my attack. I should be able to... I'm going to go after that lake boss again. And I should be in better shape with the better weapon and the beads on to make my attacks stronger. But I'm going to save the game just in case we crash. <clears throat> Here we go. Across the lake of tortured souls. It's not going to remember the damage I did to it the first time around because I didn't complete the stage. But that shouldn't matter. There is an attack power up here. Oh no, that's an MP thing. That's going to help maintain my magic for a little bit. So that's a good thing that I grabbed. Without the moon's protection. Sometimes it is best simply to wait patiently. <clears throat> See, they're shooting projectiles and that's causing scenery to explode. Look at this water effect. It's gorgeous. So that's going to give me life, so I'll save that for the boss battle. I think there's another... There it is. There's another magic power-up right there. That I'm not going to grab yet. But as I battle her, I'm going to try to come back over here and 
get that. Try and get rid of some of these monsters before I fight her too. Very good idea. Again. There she is. Hopefully I'm doing more damage than the last fight. Looks like I am. <laughs> oh the futility. I'll grab this item here. She cast a spell on me. It's nothing I can't nothing I can't manage, but I think it keeps me from casting spells. <laughs> oh the futility. Riker. Attacking recklessly does not appear to be working. Where is she at? Study her more carefully. She must have a weakness. <laughs> oh, the futility. There we go. kind of cringy there. My level has risen and I become more powerful as this event goes on in front of you. So I'm gonna uh, repair that weapon. I get used to doing that. Technically I'm restoring the weapon's vitality. Let's see if any new weapons have appeared on the market. Ooh, a big one right there, but it's 4,200. Double dragons. <clears throat> Let's go to the next stage. A cemetery of sunken ships. This ships level is a lot different. Through. You are on a ship and it's going to sail a to a boss. And while it's sailing slowly, these blobs are going to land on the on the boat and they're gonna they have a lot of weight to them if enough blobs land on the boat it sinks and it might just sink on one side you know and start tipping so you kind of have to keep things balanced and uh, shouldn't be much of a problem I can kick them off using my heavy attack or I can just kill them that way I get the experience And I have to go to the other side of the boat to make sure there's none over here yet. There are none. Let's just kick this guy off the back. Or maybe not. Just kill him right there. There's little islands you can jump on if you want to try to destroy stuff and get 100% on this board. I'm not going to do that this time around because it's very risky to go out above the water. <clears throat> all these frozen, frozen, all these wrecked boats and stuff 
those can be destroyed. Let's see, the, the ship is leaning this way big time, so I gotta take care of business over here. I don't die when I hit the water as long as I have some magic left. Ship is leaning big time, so I need to get over here as soon as possible. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. You don't want the ship to sink because that's automatically the end of the stage. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to keep clearing my throat here. are sinking oh no I died because um, I did not realize we were at the boss and the boss jumped on the boat and well maybe I could still kill it where's it at uh, oh no yeah not good yeah, fell asleep there. So let's restart the stage. I think that's what happened. The boss jumped on the boat. Uh, she can be killed uh, within a matter of seconds, but she can't. If she, if she stays on the ship, it sinks. <laughs> I got a little bit too carried away when I went off to get that power up. If you're really advanced, you can go way up ahead like this and just destroy these things before they even hop on your ship. But better not risk it, huh? Oh, I forgot to show off my butterfly spell. It's great for clearing a room of enemies.
there I think back one more time. The island right ahead, the boss is sitting on it, and it's going to jump on the ship, just like I mentioned. I think it might be the mother of these little blobs. Oh shit, knocked me back a little bit. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? The ship has sunk. Can I still kill it? Oh, yes I can. There we go. Ooh, that was close. Alrighty. And no spirits released. <laughs> because I was staying on the ship the entire time. Let's check the shop. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's try to double dragons. What is wrong? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Equip weapons. Double dragons. We'll just see. I don't think it's better than the one I had, but. The source of the essence of water. Alrighty. Destroy this is a beautiful stage. To release the flow of water. There's crystals everywhere. have a giant uh, waterfall coming down this tower. This is indeed a mighty tower. Mighty tower. 
But if you destroy these pillars that support the tower, it will surely fall. Alrighty, so I have to knock down the tower and everything looks easy so far, but there's going to be a lot of enemies coming out. And the first thing I'm going to do, um, let's go over and get this magic. First thing I do is go toward the middle and knock those pillars out because those are the hardest to do when the, en the enemies start coming out. So we'll start doing this. It's going to wake up the enemies though. And it's going to, there's going to be more enemies here than anywhere in the, in the entire game, I think. And they fire projectiles. And it's going to get crazy in here. See, it's already getting pretty crazy. So I have to deal with them while I'm knocking down these pillars. But what's going to help is my butterfly spell. So once I get surrounded, I'm going to try to fire that off and clear them out. I'm already being hit, but my light attacks will deflect those projectiles, but they won't destroy the pillars. Concentration. But my health is pretty good. Magic level is pretty good. We shall persevere. There are still four. <clears throat> There we go. And the tower is going to fall. Okay. And let's repair that weapon. Or do we want to go back to this? And yeah, let's keep the weapon. Well, depending on what the next stage is, let's see. A holy graveyard of sorcerers. Um, we're actually going to change weapons to the dragon point or dragon spear or whatever that thing is called. Let's repair it first. Repair. Dragon Staff. Equip. Weapons. Dragon Staff. Accessories. Let's stay with the Mystical Beads. This is a boss stage and it's a humongous boss. Very impressive boss. A holy graveyard of sorcerers. Expel the giant. And we'll see it in a second here. Where is he at? That's coming up behind me. See, it's a giant centipede that can control the camera a little bit better here. 
and he's going to keep going through this area and I need to hit him in the head and he's pretty much going to destroy the stage himself I think I got a hit there he got mad so I do have to keep running around because he fires lightning and it can kill me in one shot if I'm not careful there's an attack power up not a oh. So I have to control the camera and keep moving at the same time. Oh, I think I missed. <clears throat> I bet you didn't know we were going to be playing Centipede today. Alright, so I need some health. Whoa, see that lightning? It almost got me. Alright, we are f back to full health. very tricky timing to hit him without getting hit. It's best to come at the side of where he's coming through. But that's easier said than done. Did I get him there? I'm not sure. Alright, I need some life again. Luckily, there's plenty of it in the air. Little blobs. Crap. Okay, so I think I did hit him there. And now he's in a more agitated mood. <laughs> And when that happens, you get uh, you get two more minutes to finish him off. If not, he just leaves. But the stage is still clear. Let's see. I don't know if, if he's agitated or not. Yeah, he's moving faster now, so as long as I can stay alive uh, for about two minutes, I'll be able to clear this stage. See how fast he's moving. So I'm just gonna—I'm running around so I don't get hit by his lightning. He's <clears throat> getting ready to flee the battle. You can defeat him if you want, and I have. I just did it yesterday. And 
he is disappearing and I've beaten the stage. So there you go, I beat a boss without beating a boss. You can defeat him, and if you do, you get a, a weapon for defeating him. Let's see what we have enough money for now. Probably not much. I don't have enough for anything. Let's go back to these things. Let's make sure they are repaired. <clears throat> there we go. Let's move on to the next stage. <clears throat> Destroy the boulder that blocks the flow of key to the essence of wood. Alrighty, let's do that. Key flows from. This is another beautiful stage. Once we get out of the cavern here. Four clouds that you can uh, destroy. But I'm not going to bother with a lot of them. Use my butter. Watch my butterflies. That's so cool. I can use those to destroy the spores. Look at this interior. Oh, these guys are firing arrows. That's that's what's hitting me. Okay, let's see. There's one of these things that gives me the extra amount of uh, life gauge. So if I can hone in on that. We're ignoring, ignoring these other guys. Ugh, getting massacred. Yeah, this thing. What I'm talking about. Like a life refill down here. Get that. Less than a life refill. I think this is over here. That wasn't it either. Well, I was trying to get the thing that refills my life, but not having much luck here. So I'm going to need to move on. I might come back. Since all that stuff is out of the way, I can uh, come through there with the with another, another type of magic and just clear out the room. 
sticking magic, the butterflies are really effective here. So fun. some life. <clears throat> These are some weird looking creatures. They're almost like boogers. And they go flying from the butterflies. Riker. That boulder must be the source of the obstruction. Oh, I died. Okay. Let's uh, go back to the main menu and ponder our next move here. Let's see. What other type of magic we can get? Phoenix, eh. I don't have enough money for anything, actually. So let's equip with the dragon right here. And if I equip the dragon staff, it actually helps my dragon magic. So we'll do that. And let's, let's raise our defense here. My eyes are getting kind of watery. And let's see if I can repair anything. No, it doesn't need repaired. So I'm just going to head right back in. If I wanted Destroy to, I could re-enter some of the earlier the stages and just to the upgrade myself wood. some to have a better shop, shot at clearing this one. But I was right at the end. Just had uh, too much damage early on trying to get that uh, extra life. some of these guys. I got a cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty, so now let's use this magic. The longer you hold down the charge, the more it works. And what it does is just like a heat-seeking missile, kind of. Let's get that, uh, where's it at? I thought it was down here. Here it is.
See if we can lock onto that guy. Yeah, there's too many guys to lock onto. I am still losing a life, so I'm gonna just keep going. <laughs> these guys get the life refill and I think there's another one over here uh, defense okay <clears throat> sometimes you just want to race to the end of the stage and get this stage beaten before you want to do all these other extra Quite stuff. A strange order. Raiko. That order must be the source of the obstruction. The light attacks are deflecting their projectiles, so that's good. But there's a bunch of these guys in here. All right, let's try to destroy this thing here so we can... Get out of here. There we go. Maybe just one more hit. And we beat the stage just like that. Let's repair the weapon. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit here. And a little bit of repair work right there. <clears throat> I really, really, really want that extra life bar from that creature, but that room is just filled with forest. too much stuff, so. Crush the cursed giant That's typically something I would do a little bit later. But no. these guys again. Oh, I'm getting pushed back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look at all those enemies. Oh great, I found more enemies. I kinda don't know where I need to go here. This is it. If I had my butterfly spell, I think I could make short work of these guys. Oh god. Get off me, get off me, get off me. I just need Let's see is there a goal here eh. destroy the giant rock and purify the beast so I need to destroy a rock <laughs> which I did in the last stage as well so. Seem to have cleared out a lot, some of these enemies at least. Is it this rock? Just I'm just sitting there. Am I done? <laughs> oh Jesus! This looks like a tree, not a rock, right there. Oh. Down to one life bar.
I go up here? I can't. This is as high as it lets me go. So where is this rocket? Like it's uh, uh, okay. Maybe I need to go over here somewhere. Go down through here, I guess. Oh, okay. That's definitely it. I sense. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I don't know if I have to clear this room now or what, but I don't think I have enough life to get through all this. I'm gonna get hit at some point in all this mess. any life refills. I could just keep hitting, spamming the small attack. It's going to take a while, but might as well do that. So if I had my butterflies, I'd be able to clear these guys out. All right, they killed me. Um, I am enjoying myself. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play this game. There's a lot more to the game. I think there's like 25 stages or something like that. Um, 25. And I'm probably going to end up beating this after I stop recording. That's how much I like it. But not with this playthrough. I got a, a different playthrough saved to a different file but it's an awesome game one day i will play the sequel uh which is otogi 2 which was also an xbox exclusive in the meantime i i recommend these one of these two videos on the screen in front of you thanks for watching everybody